Okay, so this is for the GCSE required practical on waves in a ripple tank. We're looking at a close-up of a ripple tank. You can see the central beam bouncing up and down, spreading plane waves across the surface of the water. Light is being shone from beneath through an overhead projector unit which reflects it onto the board, allowing us to do the next step in the analysis. Here we can see the distance the waves have to travel which is uh, 0.19 meters or 19 centimeters. Okay, so to calculate the time it took for the waves to move a particular distance, I'm going to count frames on the video, stepping forward by one frame at a time. Now the video was recorded at 50 frames per second, so each frame is 1 50th of a second. So if I can count how many frames it took for this wave front to move from here to here, the time, the number of frames multiplied by 1 50th of a second will tell me the time, and this distance was 19 centimeters. So if I advance by one frame, the wavefront has moved a little bit, so that's one frame. Okay, now I just need to count how many frames it takes to move all the way. So one frame, two frame, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, right? 37 frames for that wave to reach the edge. Okay, so there's two ways of calculating the speed of the wave. The first is to just use uh, velocity equals distance, sorry, displacement divided by time. And the displacement was 0 0.19 meters. And divide that by the time it took. And the time, we had 37 frames, and each frame was 1 50th of a second. So we had 37 50ths, which if you calculate it in decimal is 0 0.74 seconds. Oops, 1.74 seconds, so we're basically going to do 90, uh, 0.19 divided by 0 0.74, which gives you 0 0.26 when you round up anyway, 0 0.26 meters per second. Okay, another way of going about calculating the uh, velocity would be to start with the equation V equals F lambda, and then you need to start thinking, well, what's F and what's lambda? Well, we had um, 9.5 peaks. I, well, these bright spots, if we assume they're the peaks, um, they could be the troughs, but they could be the middle point of the wave. It wouldn't really matter. But they're the same point on the wave. Uh, from one identical point on the wave to another is the wavelength. So um, these black points are showing the bright spots. And then we've got another half at the top. If you count them, you get nine and a half. So um, I can get the wavelength because it will be the distance divided by the number of waves. The distance was 0.19. Divide that by the number of waves, which is 9.5. And let me just quickly work that out. Comes out as 0.02 meters. So lambda is 0.02 meters and the frequency will be uh, normally given by 1 over big T um, and big T is the time for one complete wave to pass a point. Well we had 9.5 waves in 0.74 seconds so I'm going to do slight variation on this 9.5 divided by um, 0 0.74 to get me the frequency because 9.5 waves traveled past this point in 0 0.74 seconds which gives me a value of 12.84 hertz and now I can just go ahead and substitute frequency and wavelength into this equation so V equals 12.84 multiplied by the wavelength 0.02 which gets me, again, a number that I'm going to round to two decimal places, but basically 0.26 meters per second. So you can get the wavelength, you can get the velocity two ways, 
Um, but either way, using the Ripple Tank uh, to, to get those results. Thanks for watching.